In search of allies, Vegeta, the king of Saiyans, passing through the wreckage of his old planet, looking for survivors. In order to make your people grow, to form an army and conquer more power, Vegeta doesn't find anything so far. It looks like there's nothing but wreckage. His warriors begin to question. Majesty, how long will we look for nothing? Vegeta says. If some puny worm wants out, skirt, I don't need you. No one dares challenge the king, says his right-hand man, and then Vegeta answers. You don't have to defend me, Raditz, or I'll kill you. Raditz, a warrior no one trusted, they called him weak and useless, until Vegeta decides to give him a chance. Since then, Raditz has become the king's right-hand man. Far away in the middle of space, the king of Saiyan sees one of the moons of his former planet. Resolved to check out the survivors there, they then land the ship. They don an outfit which allows them to breathe outside and begin the search for some vestige of fighting power. Vegeta's scouter begins to detect an unusual power, but inferior to his. The king speaks at that moment. It's not even worth seeing what it is. But still, he decides to go check it out. Arriving at the place, Vegeta finds a warrior almost dead. Then he takes him to the ship and puts him in a recovery pod. Alright partner, why don't you whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos and stay well inside our entire universe of Dragon Ball. Let's get back to the point. Two days pass until the warrior recovered completely. Some Saiyans caught the king communicating that the Saiyan they had found had already awakened. Vegeta approaches and confronts him asking, What is your name, insect? And then he answers, I'm Nappa, an elite Saiyan warrior, survivor from planet Vegeta, after the great war that destroyed everything, and my only goal is to kill you all, insignificant worms. The king then, with a look of fury on his face, says, Why don't you recognize me? Nappa watches him seriously. Meanwhile, on Bulma's ship, Goku continues eating. After several days without food, he says, Ah, oh, Bulma, how delicious! Bulma responds, It's your impression, Goku! And her face turns red, full of shame. Krillin exclaims, What? Goku, how dare you say that? Goku then embarrassed says, I was talking about the food. It's been so long since I've had such good food. Everyone laughs. Gohan agrees with Goku and says, It's really delicious. They continue to eat. Sometime later, Goku says, There, I am satisfied. Now we need to talk. Everyone watches and Goku asks, How are you still alive? Can someone explain to me? The whole planet was destroyed. How did they survive that? Calm down, Goku. I'll explain everything to you, says Dende. Watching with a curious look, Goku asks, But Dende, are you the Kamisama of the Earth in this timeline too? Dende answers, Yes, when the Kamisama of the Earth was about to die, Piccolo picked me up on Namek, and so I became the Kamisama. And then Goku is surprised, thinking out loud, Really, some different happenings here and others very similar to my timeline. Everyone is looking at him. Dende continues to say, Now I will explain how we got here. Goku agrees and everyone watches. And Dende continues, We were all together celebrating Gohan's wedding. We then saw a light in the sky and a very powerful being, he had a voice similar to Goku, appeared saying that he would destroy everything. At that moment, Mr. Piccolo said that we should flee. We took the Dragon Balls that we had gathered for Gohan as a wedding present, and we brought it to Bulma's ship, and that's how we managed to escape. Krillin interrupts saying, But still, many of our friends were killed. We couldn't save everyone. Gohan then says, Let's rebuild the planet by ordering for Shenron and complete Piccolo. We'll do that when we find a safe place. At that moment, Goku looks on, and Bulma asks, Now you tell us, Goku, how did you get here? From what I see, you are not from this reality. In that timeline, you are long dead. And he didn't want to be revived by the Dragon Balls to continue training in the other world. At that moment, Goku explains everything, telling the whole story up to that point, talking about gods, angels, Zeno, and everything that had happened in his timeline. 
He also tells about Black and that he had found him there in that reality and that they needed to stop him. Gohan in that second says, Did you manage to get so powerful like that, Daddy? What does it mean to have achieved God-killer form? Goku then responds, You will know when you see it. Everyone feels a very evil energy approaching. They encounter an enemy that is rapidly approaching the ship. Bulma runs to the control panel so they can quickly get out of there. They flee towards the nearest planet. Bulma and the others get off the ship and start exploring the place. When they least expect it, they feel that same evil energy. And everyone is scared when a frightening figure appears. Goku asks, Who are you? The enemy remains silent and says nothing. Gohan says, Leave it to me. I need to train a little so I don't get out of shape. He doesn't seem to be very strong. That being attacks Gohan, punching him in the face, sending him flying towards a rock. Gohan counterattacks using his Mazenko. He uses his speed to get closer, hitting him in the back, throwing it straight to the floor. The enemy gets up and goes to Gohan, saying he's going to kill him, releasing surprisingly dark key, but they couldn't feel it. Gohan and the enemy engage in hand-to-hand -hand combat, dealing several blows to each other. When Krillin decides to help, he throws his Kienzan. The enemy raises his hand holding Kirin's attack, throwing him back, hitting the Kareka, leaving him seriously injured. Bulma rushes to help. Goku sees that Gohan is having a hard time. At that moment, Goku says, He is not just any enemy. Stand back. I'm going to use my God Killer transformation. If you are hit by my aura, you will be destroyed. And meanwhile, we go back to the Palace of Black. Black is with his gods of destruction and angels, thinking about how to end the only thing that keeps you up at night, Goku. Black is absorbing the energy of one of his gods, smiling with an evil glare, saying, You will be next, son Goku. At that moment, he makes a decision and speaks. I will merge the powers of gods of destruction with the powers of angels, so I will create angels of death and I will make them generals of my army. That way I can exponentially increase the power we've obtained. On the other side of the universe, Goku and his friends continue to face that unknown being. Everyone watches from afar. Goku starts screaming, his aura expands and his power increases. His skin turns blue, his hair turns white, his aura and ki begin to calm down. Everyone looks at him as if they were facing a deity. At that moment, the enemy says, Is that all you can do? You weak, and the weak deserve to die. The enemy attacks Goku, who narrowly manages to dodge it. The attack devastated part of the small planet, and the enemy smiles saying, You're not as weak as I thought. Then I will help you. On Vegeta's ship, the king continues to interrogate Nappa. I am Vegeta, the king and ruler of the Cern warrior race. By saying this, he raises his key, causing the entire ship to start shaking. Nappa goes into despair, seeing the magnitude of Vegeta's power. He kneels and says, Forgive me, your majesty. Nappa realizes at that moment that he doesn't stand a chance against his king and decides to help him. Vegeta at that moment then says, the next time an insect like you decides to challenge me, I'll exterminate you. Vegeta decides to continue his search for more Saiyans. A while later, still wandering through space, the Saiyan's ship is hit by a strange object that ends up damaging some parts of their ship, forcing them to land on a nearby planet. The king then commands his subjects, Work to fix the damage! Meanwhile, Vegeta, Nappa and Raditz leave the ship to find traces of what had been hit. Close to where they had landed, the three Saiyans find an ancient spaceship of their people and Vegeta guesses, This must have been what hit us. Raditz completes saying, That means that there are Saiyans nearby. Meanwhile, somewhere in the galaxy, Goku and his friends face that unknown enemy and begin to discover who that person was. I am Heros, an ancient god of destruction. Goku at that moment says, So Black sent you to exterminate us, didn't he? Heros then gets furious and says, 
I don't follow Black's orders. That bastard controls several angels and gods, but I rebelled and managed to escape. You arrived and made him let his guard down, that's why I managed to escape. When I saw your battle against the gods Black controls, I decided to join you to stop him. Surprised Goku says, If your intention was to help, why did you attack us? Heros says, To be able to test your power, I never intended to kill them. Goku responds, You almost killed Krillin and Gohan, how do you want to help us, if you are trying to kill us? Heros then comes back to say, As I said, I didn't mean to kill them. If not, they would already be dead. To be continued, did Goku get a new ally? Can Vegeta locate more Saiyans? Will Black really manage to create angels of death? Regardless of what it is, it's more than important that you share your thoughts in the comments below so we can get into a crazy debate. Whack that like button and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any videos. That's all there is to it and I'll catch you in the next episode. Goodbye.